More lawmakers are speaking out about our investigation into long delays with the state's Crime Victims Compensation Program, a program meant to help victims of violent crime rebuild their lives. It's managed inside the office of Attorney General Ken Paxton. His office previously said he's working around the clock to timely and faithfully serve those victims. Since our reporting, we've reached back out to Paxton for comment. No response so far. We wanted to ask about our investigator Matt Grant's discovery, understaffing and low pay leading employees to quit in record numbers, creating that case backlog. And now more lawmakers calling for change. One thing that got talked about a lot this week that I think is really important is that that office has been letting down victims of violent crime in Texas. Democratic Hayes County State Representative Aaron Zwiener and other state leaders sharing and speaking out about our investigation on social media. I am so grateful that KXAN has brought more attention to this important issue. I absolutely think that y'all's reporting has put this issue in a sharper light and created more pressure on us as the legislature to fix this problem. In response to what we found, Zwiener wants to inject more money into the Crime Victims Compensation Division, earmarked for salaries and more staff. In March, House Speaker Dade Phelan tasked the legislature ahead of next session with studying services that help victims recover and stay safe following a violent crime. With housing costs on the rise paired with inflation, the amount allowed for rent and relocation can be too low to support a survivor's needs. At a House hearing last month, victim advocates complained about long delays with the fund and inadequate help. The state of Texas does not offer job protective leave for survivors of family violence. Too many victims are not able to access victims' compensation because of bureaucracy. Claim payout can also take several months after approval. One example from the Tarrant County District Attorney's Office, a seven-month delay to approve funeral expenses for a drunk driving victim. Advocates want more case managers and simpler applications, something current and former AG employees told us is needed. It's very important to get them money timely. The AG's attorney for the fund told lawmakers it can work better, admitting applications are too long and amounts allocated for rent and bereavement too low. And it's never enough, not fast enough, and it's never enough money because nothing's ever, ever going to make it right. The AG's attorney says it's up to the legislature to make changes. We reached out again to Paxson's office for comment, but have not heard back. Matt Grant, State of Texas. We also contacted every member of the House Criminal Jurisprudence Committee. That's the panel you saw in Matt's story. A handful have responded. You can see what they have to say and catch up on our entire series online now. Just scan the QR code on your screen. It will take you to this story in the Texas politics section of our website. As Republicans gain power in Congress, it's raising new questions about the future of funding the war in Ukraine. Can I say, you know, we're not gonna write a blank check. We are going to have uh, oversight and accountability. We go one-on-one -on -one with a Texas congressman who will have a bigger voice when it comes to deciding the level of support. His view on what should happen next. A new report shows the board in charge of monitoring your pet's veterinarian isn't managing its data well. We investigate the concerns and the new leadership promising to fix the problem. 